Alice and Bob visit the bar. In the last 30 days, Alice came 10 times. Bob, 20 times. However, the number of evenings where they both visited the bar at the same time was eight. How can we analyze this situation? We ask ourselves, what is the chance on a given night for both Alice and Bob to be in the bar the same night? Now, we know the result is 8 to 30. Because out of the last 30 days, there were 8 days in which we noticed that both were at the bar at the same evening. So that's the result. But this result, a smart mathematician by the name of Thomas Bayes, 18th century guy, has discovered that this is, can be deduced in two symmetric ways. And this idea that he stumbled across has been used ever since in, in science, in commerce, in uh, cryptography, lots of usages, just from the simple idea that this result of a joint event for Alice and Bob to be in the bar at the same time can be calculated in two symmetrical ways. We can arrive at this result by first asking ourselves what is the chance that Alice is in the bar? And once we figure this out, ask ourselves, okay, if she's in the bar, what's the chance that Bob is also? So, 10 to 30 is the chance that Alice is shows up in the bar on any given night. Why? Because we have the data. Last 30 days, she came to the bar 10 times, so it's 10 to 30. Now, what is the chance that any day that she was there, he will be there too? 8 to 10. So we take this chance that she would be in the bar and multiply it by the chance that if she is in the bar, he is in the bar. And we get what we want. The chance that both of them are in the bar the same night. But as much as we started with Alice and ask ourselves, if she is there, what's the chance that Bob is in the bar? We can do it as a way around. We can ask ourselves, what is the chance on any given night that Bob is in the bar? And the answer is 20 to 30. And now, each day that he is in the bar, what's the chance that Alice would be there too? Well, out of the 20 days that he was, they were together eight times. So it's eight to 20. The result is the same. So Bayes has found something really simple. You can compute a joint probability from one event first and then go to the other, or from the other event first and then go to the first. That's it. When you tell the same story in the language of math, it looks more cryptic. But it's the very same story. The chance 
for Alice and Bob to be in the bar together the same evening is expressed as the chance for Alice to be in the bar times the chance for Bob to be in the bar given that Alice is in the bar. And the same thing is also given by the probability for Bob to be in the bar times the probability for Alice to be in the bar given that's what it means that Bob is in the bar. So these two expressions are the same and the reason that it's so powerful is that in so many real cases we know three of those probabilities and we can calculate the fourth. Powerful inference engines are based almost solely on this. Thank you.